Welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we're traveling to the medieval town of Carcassonne. Mm -hmm. So in Carcassonne, the check-in is like 5 p.m. So we have quite a bit of time today to explore. So we make our way to another cute little French town of Minerve. Yeah, Carrie's always trying to find these mm -hmm. weird little places to stop at on the way. So, and this one was kind of neat, but parking was a bit of an issue because I'm always looking for free motorcycle yeah. parking because that's the plus of a motorcycle. But yeah. unfortunately in this town, no such thing. Yeah. Only locals allowed. Only local traffic. They had a bridge, like it was right there over into the, yeah. but it was only locals, so. So we parked in the upper parking lot, yeah. hiked into town. It was pretty neat and we had one of the best salads. Oh yeah, it I think amazing. we've ever had. It was just so fresh. They must have come from their garden plot right there. And uh, definitely a great little restaurant in that town. I tried the nougat. Yes, bought some of the that's nougat. Right. That it's was kind of a local thing. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah, so, it was good. Yep. Yeah. And then we, yeah, we packed up, headed out, yeah. continued on our way into Parkinson. Surrounded by fortified walls, there's no traffic, so Pepe had to get parked outside the city walls in yeah. a parking lot. We left part Pepe in a parking lot, yeah. and put his put his cover yeah. on, and hiked up to our uh, hiked up through the up the drawbridge, up through the town to find our apartment. We got settled into the apartment and. By this time, we're getting hungry, so we set out to try. Glenn was getting, I was beyond hungry. Yeah. I was, I was getting hangry. There was some hangry going on. Yeah. There was only one restaurant that we could find open, but the only thing that we could get was the traditional meal. We ate it, but it wasn't he good. He ate it. I didn't order. Yeah. It's like a bean dish with meat stewed in it. It sounds good. He loves it. Beans. Yeah, I liked everything yeah. that was in it, but the combination with these guys was pretty bad. But we have since found out that the, early, the early restaurants are open to satisfy the North Americans, yeah. but typically they may not be the best yeah. restaurant quality wise. Yes. Okay, we actually have a trip tip Is for right? you. <laughs> yeah, probably the most important trip tip so far. Yeah, it, it's it's one of the most important ones for me. 
eating hours in Southern Europe. Yeah, so the eating hours in Europe in general are significantly different than what we are used to here in North America, and it can create issues. So if you yeah. want to avoid hangry, listen up. <laughs> yeah. Restaurants are open for lunch, so that's kind of one to two-ish. Spain, we found out, lunch is actually kind of two to four. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just... It's, it's a lot later. It is a lot later. Yeah. In France, it's often seven to nine. Spain, you might not get supper till the restaurants won't open till maybe early is eight. Yeah. But their normal time would be nine to 11. Yeah, so you need to take advantage of, of any restaurant. If, if, if you have a concern about that, you need to start finding yeah. places you could get a little pizza yeah. or like Spain tapas. It has tapas. Italy yeah. had aperitivo, ta or yeah. aperitivo time and things Oftentimes like that. Oftentimes in Italy, we just have aperitivo. That was our supper. Yeah, if you right? found a good aperitivo place, you yeah. can eat supper. You, yeah, exactly. You'd eat well. We, and, and they stay up a lot later, so we were often in bed by the time they were starting their But in an effort, in an effort to circumvent the odd time when we couldn't get food, uh, yeah. we began to carry emergency spaghetti yeah. and pasta in the back of the bike. Yeah. And, uh, so we had a box of pasta and a container of We did sauce. have some, uh, I don't know what kind of sausage that yeah. was, that was for emergency use and Glenn ate it all in one night. I, I think he was trying to blame his digestive issues on the peachy Yeah, meat. it <laughs> yeah. might have caused some problems. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyway, that's yeah. this week's yeah. tip trip. Yeah. Plan your meals accordingly. Exactly. Before the busloads of people arrived, we made our way through the near deserted alleys. We found this wonderful little bakery for breakfast in this half-timbered house. We decided to do the Ramparts tour, so we headed over before it got too busy as the buses were starting to show up. We got to peek at a military graduation ceremony that was going on inside. La City has two fortified walls that surround it. In the middle is where they had their jousting grounds for practice. The walk along the wall was really interesting. We got to go through all the towers. And see the museum. So Carcassonne is a pretty cool stop. I think if you're in the area that it's, it's worth the time to get, to get in there, check it out.
We went out that evening after it got dark, and wow, that was, you felt like you were living back. It was kind of similar in the evening to Mont Saint Michel. Oh, in France, yeah. In France. Yeah. We were there in 2016. In the north of France. Yeah, yeah, it was very similar to that. All, the, some... all the tourists have left. Yeah. The streets are quiet. We don't consider ourselves tourists. Yeah, yeah. All, all the day tourists have left. Yeah. Um, so it's worth, if you're going to go, is to spend the night there. Yeah. Because it was just really magical. Um, the, they had it lit up. It, it, you felt like you were walking with some ghosts. <laughs> yeah, it was a neat town at night for sure. So in the morning, we packed up and left this magical city behind. We were heading toward Tarps. We hiked around, saw a few sights, and yeah, it was it was good for an evening and a yeah. night. And... In the next episode, we leave Tarbes and we cross into Spain, another country. Yeah. See, See you then. then.